The cauldron bubbled and popped in a flurry. The smell was that of pungent herbs and spices mixed with a putrid almost sickly scent that reminded Syria of vomit. The palms of her hands were covered in a sticky substance from the many plants she had handled over the past few hours. Her red-hued skin marked with greens and browns from the leftover plant matter. She stirred the mixture and held her breath as it boiled. She pulled a small bottle from the floor and tipped its contents into the cauldron. As the flakes of powder touched the boiling liquid it exploded upwards. Syria screamed out and pulled her color around herself. The black aura glowing against her white priestess robe struck a silhouette of power and beauty. It shined around her body outlining her like a drawing. She pushed out her energy in an attempt to contain the explosion however it only made the situation worse. As her magic touched the still bubbling liquid it caught fire then splashed onto the table next to her. The black flames began to rage across the old wooden table with a heat so intense it made Syria sweat. Oh no, no 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 no. Syria said as she rushed over to the table. The black flames raging on the old wood it was built from. She pushed her aura out and again the fire expanded. This is not good. She said then rushed over to her ingredient table. She shuffled bottles around trying to find the one that held water. After only a few more seconds she found it. I'm going to be in so much trouble. She said as she ran to the fire and dumped the entire bottle onto the table. The black flames extinguished in an instant then the room began to fill with smoke. She coughed several times and rushed to the window flinging it open. Seconds after she stepped away from the window she heard a series of knocks at her door. Syria is everything okay? She heard Father Haith call out. Of course. Everything is fine. Nothing to worry about. Why do you ask? She replied as she fumbled her words. I heard an explosion. Are you sure you are okay? Haith asked and Syria looked around the smoke-filled room. Yep, everything is going perfect. She replied and Haith sighed. Why is there smoke coming out from underneath the door? He asked and Syria swallowed hard. It's part of the spell, don't come in. I need the smoke to settle into the mixture. She lied and Haith sighed again. Did you cause another fire? He asked and Syria laughed. Of course not. Just be careful. Haith sighed then walked away from the door. Syria relaxed her body then got to work clearing the smoke out of the room. She knew that he would see the scorch marks on the table eventually. This was the second time she had set fire to the chapel and she was certain that it wouldn't be the last time. She looked around the room with a frown noticing the mess she had made then sighed as she realized how long it would take to clean up. Even though they would be moving to the chapel in the upper district soon she could hold the memories she had here in her heart. She rolled up her sleeves took a few steps towards her ingredient table and picked up an old dusty rag. It had only been used a few days ago yet the amount of dust that fell from it would suggest otherwise. She dipped the rag into a small bowl that held a mixture of soapy water and a few herbs. Letting most of the water fall back into the bowl she took a moment to collect her thoughts. She didn't understand why this potion had failed. During her time training in Salvage she had crafted this exact potion before however now that she was back in Hellos it had failed. She sighed quietly then knelt down and began cleaning the mess of multicolored liquids from the floor. Hello this is Rose, narrator for the Ember Witch Saga. If you enjoyed this program consider becoming a Patreon member. You will gain access to new episodes a week before they release to the public, scripts, music, and producer credits. Join in and support at patreon.com slash e, y, m, b, r, underscore. I would like to thank our Witch Tier member, M, for showing us so much support and helping Ember realize her passion. Thank you for listening.